It's a constant struggle trying to be a good boyfriend. Don't look at her bum. Don't do it. <sighs> I'm sorry. If you know the trick to getting the bra off quickly, she's yours. Turn around and lift up your fucking shirt. I've only gone and released my own proper Naughty Christmas album. It's the Chestnuts. A lot of people may be watching this and thinking, well, the apology's come because he's just had his series oh, pulled, his tour's negative. been pulled, and his album's not for sale. Hey, have you managed to find the BBC studios? My, my problem with the TV show wasn't just sort of like snobbery, it was that it encourages behaviour that makes me feel scared to walk home from the tube in the evening. How was your journey? All good. I don't, I don't think he's like, you know, all that's bad. I think he is like a lot of <laughs> young men and probably doesn't fully understand. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Do you think the fact that your followers did react in the way they did, does that make you wonder about the kind of fans you were attracting? That they, they no, might think no, that's no, no. what they, you wanted from them. I don't. It's not about you know. We've got to have a lot. Of, we've got to have a certain amount of respect from our followers because it's not about a certain demographic. It's not about you know. There's there's 2.1 million people on the Facebook page. They're just general people. Looking back on it now, I wouldn't do it again. But my attitude at the time, it was. If you're allowed to go and write an article about me and you're allowed to tell your followers and give them an opinion on me, then why can't I tell my followers and, and tell my followers um, about what you're doing to me and then let them voice their opinion? Because, just, just sorry, but because it really works me up, but essentially, me trending on Twitter is, this is what I thought, me trending on Twitter as a result of the articles that were being wrote about me was the same as me telling my fans to, to say stuff. But when I read what they'd written, I look back on it and think, right, this is a different calibre, and I do regret it, yeah. When, when you say they were just sticking up for you, though, I, I think... I think they were trying to impress me as well. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at, yeah. the, the fact that they thought that kind of behaviour would impress you. Yeah. Does, does that not make you wonder yeah, about yeah. the impression you were... Yeah, and, yeah. And, of course, And of maybe, course. maybe they didn't necessarily see Dapper Laughs as a character, all of them. I, I'm sure mm. there's a mix. I'm sure that they did see me as a character, but as soon as I started expressing myself emotionally on my social media, they didn't see me as a character, they saw me as me. Yeah. Which, which, was, a, which was a huge mistake. Yeah, I guess what I'm trying to get at, if, if some of your young fans think um, nobody will rape you, you're too ugly, you fucking dirty slag, mm. or something along those lines is a way to impress you, did that? Did it at any point? Did did it make you think about maybe whatever I was trying to achieve with my act? Maybe I'm not. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's not yeah, being read. Of course. Well, it was the beginning. That certainly was the beginning of that that train of thought. Um, I think uh, to be completely honest with you, you know, I'm not I'm not here to apologise for for my content because I think that. I've, I've grown through it and learned a lot through it, and I think a lot of my fans have learned through it as well. And okay. and it certainly has changed, yeah. yeah. But um, you know, and you know, I'm a complete, you know, so it's a completely different, it's a completely different feeling now. It feel, like it feels a lot more healthy now to me, anyway. What what I'm doing, but basically, I went from thinking I'm a comedian, yeah, I'm not a role model, so you know, get off my back. But what I learned through it is, is yeah, if you've got millions and millions of young people following you. There comes a huge responsibility with with the message you're putting out, and that was sort of the beginning, I think, of that um, of that really unfortunate learning curve. Do you regret your TV show? I don't regret it. I, w I wish I'd done it differently. What would you've done differently? I think that the the whole point of the TV show was meant to half mock lad lad culture. So when it cut into the when it cut into all the comedy bits, all the sketches, I'm like, oh yeah, if you want to get a girl proper moist, blah blah blah. You know, this is what you've got to do, and then it would be really terrible advice, yeah? So, so the punchline of the joke would be the advice that it's terrible, right? And that was really clear when people watched that, right? He's taking the piss out of lads and what to do. 
it was mixed in with a narrative of actually helping real people, real lads. I think that at that point of the show, I stopped taking the, the piss out of myself and became a little bit egotistical and look at me, you know, because I never was a pickup artist. That wasn't yeah, what, yeah. My, um, what my my thing was. Particularly, you know, for younger boys, um, your teenagers, yeah. that sort of age, and it's, yeah, it's not clear that any of it's a joke. Yeah, I certainly would have done it differently, yeah. Do you understand why people like me take that kind of thing as seriously as we do, kind of street harassment. Mm, yeah, yeah. Do you? Yeah, I, I, I certainly do, but I get frustrated that I've become the pin-up boy for, for that because some of my sketches did involve, did involve that kind of thing. But, and the TV show. And the TV show. But, I mean, the TV show didn't stand for street harassment. I certainly didn't uh, encourage anyone to, to go up and shout stuff to people in the streets, do you know what I mean? My original vines were, were all about uh, male insecurity. Right. Yeah. So my original vines when I first started out was all about men getting jealous and then taking the piss out of men getting jealous or, um, you know, men showing off in front of their mates. Yeah. You know, pure lad culture orientated stuff. And, and slowly it started taking a, 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 a weird turn into being about women and being about pulling women. And then when, when you get a lot of likes on videos like that, it stays like that. And then that's how the TV show evolved. So if I could do it differently, yeah. it would it would have been. Um, dapper laughs the ultimate lad, yeah, that yeah, gets yeah. everything brutally wrong. And it's a cow, yeah. yeah. And see, I think that would have been funny, right? Yeah, um, that, yeah, that's that's the way I wish it would have gone. But you did have vines where you made, there was a vine where you kind of held a knife and yeah, you... but that, to me, the joke of that was not scaring her into taking her bra off, just that the, the quickest way to get a girl's bra off would be to cut it. So, in my mind, I wasn't... Really? Really? Uh, yeah, like, it really? Wasn't, well... It was, looking back on it now, maybe it was a bit of both, but it certainly wasn't. It certainly wasn't meant to. It, it was meant to come across as stupid. It wasn't um, meant to come. There's, there's absolutely no humour. Okay. Do you know what I mean? There's no yeah. humour in just saying that. It was meant to come across as stupid. And like I said, there was parts of some of my content that I regretted. That I, I regret in a way of thinking, "Are you stupid?" So, but you know that vine was like that vine was like two years old. That was before. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That was before I even had a sure. point. I don't think the criticism was unfair. I understand why you might have you felt the level of it was, it took you by surprise. What I'm saying is when you produce a piece of, you know, a piece of mainstream TV, your intentions aren't the, the whole story. And it's, it's kind of, to me, it's the same as with the charity album. Though your intentions weren't to, you know, do this, you can do it accidentally. Mm. And if you do it accidentally, it's still a, a problem. Two minutes after I say the joke about the, the tramp, I take him, tramp, homeless person, so you probably shouldn't say Said tramp. tramp on the album. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you know, we take, we take him in and, uh, and have a drink with him and then we do a song with, with Brian McFadden, so I'm like, people must know that this isn't real. <laughs> with your fame, though, you, you know, no one asks for the responsibilities that come with it. Do, do you think you have a responsibility to maybe actively yeah. educate people? I have done, I have done as well. I mean, there's, do you know what? There is a problem with, with, with men's attitudes towards women. I certainly wouldn't say that, you know, men shouldn't have, uh, and I hate using the word, or banter or, you know, be laddish and stuff. Right? I think that they should, I think that, I, I wouldn't want to stop that. I think that they, they have every right to say and talk and do and talk about whatever they want amongst themselves. I think that I personally, I think that's fine. I think if you're in the pub and, and you want to talk to someone about something or you want to, you know, be a lad or banter with someone. What does that mean? Like, what, what kind of things do you think there might, it might be okay for men to talk about among themselves, but maybe only in that context? Well, let me just make something, let me just make something quite clear, yeah? So I talk to my mates in a completely different way to, 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 to the way that I would talk in front of women now. I don't disrespect, I, don't st I wouldn't stand in front of my mates and say a woman is a slag or a slut or a whore or a bitch, yeah? But what I'm talking about is I would talk about sex and having sex with girls or, you know, um, experiences or whatever with my friends or I'd be like loud, boisterous, you know, tell, tell jokes or swear a lot and stuff like that. And I think that's fine if you want to do that with your friends. The most simplest way of me putting this uh, is I think that if at a younger age there's a so social injection of someone, someone older or something or someone that they look up to saying to them, right lads, it's all fun and games, blah, blah, whatever you said, but there's going to come a point when you get older when you're going to want to speak to women. How old are you talking about? I think, you know, when, you, when they're like 14, 15. They, because I mean, you know, a lot of kids have sex at that age. There's a lot of, mm. lot of sexual, thousands and thousands of sexual assaults. Yeah, and there's, and there's a lot of, I, I've never done the research into it, but I'm sure it would, pretty, it would shock me um, uh, the amount of probably sexual harassment there is in schools where the kids don't even realise they're doing it. Well, I remember, I don't know, you're around my age, I think. Um, it's normal. It's really normal. Like, like among, amongst teenagers. Grabbing your arse. Yeah, yeah. To, but, but to, like, to the sort of, like, 
having to rescue your friends because they're like passed out drunk in a room yeah. at a party and people look. But in my mind, I think I'm the best candidate ever to sit down with to sit down with young lads and say, right, listen, I know what it's I know exactly what it's all about about making each other laugh. Believe me, I've built a career off making other people laugh, yeah, and acting stupid. But it's going to come a point when you're going to be interested in women. There's also now a huge problem with. With, with the attitude of, 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 of lads your age when you get to know what you think is acceptable and unacceptable to do. Perhaps it isn't that they have to try and be a different sort of person in front of women. Maybe, maybe the kind of person, the kind of mindset that makes them talk to their friends about women like that is actually the problem and that's what leads to them talking to women like that. And maybe ideally they wouldn't, they would be a little bit more respectful even when not directly to women. So now what you're talking about is changing, changing, the, changing what men say to each other when they're on their own. I would like it if whether or not I was present, men I'm not, I'm not just, I'm not really disrespectful about me. Yeah, like I'm not saying that we... I talk about sex with my friends. Like if my friends like... That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm in like That's a relationship, my, so my friends are, they have casual sex, but I don't... It, it, there's, there's something... My point on this about, wasn't just about women either. My point on this was right. about boisterous banter and the way they are, yeah? I, I'm not condemning, you know, laddish jokes or, like, boisterousness, but maybe that there is a line that can be crossed that becomes disrespectful and degrading, and that's still a problem whether or not it's directly to women or not. That's, that's no, I how agree, okay, I, I, I feel, agree, I feel I can agree that. with you. No, I can agree with you on that, okay. yeah. I can agree with you on that, yeah. OK. Fuck, this is interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus, should have bought my turtleneck. <laughs> I don't, I don't dislike him on a personal level. I just wish I wish he could understand. He is in a position to sort of be a little bit more conscious about what he's doing. Friends? Yeah, yeah we're friends. There you go.